it's Ajiana here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm coming to you with five tips for people in their early 20s. If you want to see more, be sure to keep watching this video and stay tuned. So this video is going to be a sit down video. Hopefully it doesn't get too long and I don't end up too chatty, but I'm going to hop right into this. And if you notice me looking down, it's just because I wrote a whole bunch of notes and I'm trying to make sure that I actually say some of the stuff in the notes and I don't get too um, off guard and add to the length of the video. So we're gonna hop right into it. So point number one, take more risk. I think that for me, I've just gotten to a point in my life where I've started taking a little bit more risk. I have always been the person that weighs out both sides of scenarios. I always look at the good and I always look at the bad, but to be quite honest, it takes up too much time and too much energy. And I think that by focusing so much of my time and energy on that, it took away from me just going with the flow and taking more chances. And I think that also brings up a good point of sometimes you can plan things, you know, plan it all the way through and then things don't always end up going the way that you expected them. And that is what life is, is even when you plan things to the T, still sometimes doesn't go as expected but that is what makes life fun and that is how you gain experiences in order to help you grow and if you're not growing then it's pretty much dead right <laughs> so you know taking those those risks and taking those chances in life even when you're unsure tends to be the the best thing that probably could happen to you which brings me into the next point Point number two, be positive and think positive. This is one of my biggest struggles, to be honest. <laughs> I think that for me, I have somehow programmed in my head to always focus on the negative. And that kind of brings me back to a point that I brought up in point number one is that I've always thought everything through. I've always looked at the good and I've always looked at the bad and I just focus way too much on the negative outcome instead of focusing on what could happen if everything went as planned, which is a terrible trait and <laughs> um, I don't think that is the greatest thing to do. But anyways, it has definitely contributed to how I think and um, being positive and I think that First of all, if you think about self-manifestation, you everything starts from within you. So no matter what anybody else is doing, if you're positive and if you're being positive and if you're thinking positive, then who cares what everybody else is doing? Um, it just shows naturally from within and at the end of the day, it's all you have is you yourself and I, not, not me, but you. <laughs> Um, and you know you have to be your biggest cheerleader and you have to support yourself and uplift yourself and I think that once you focus on that mentally just being positive um, and constantly thinking positive then it changes your whole entire life and it changes your whole entire attitude and you know po focusing on the positive helps reduce stress it helps reduce fear it helps reduce anxiety and naturally it just gives you a natural glow you know because you know you're just you're you're radiating on the inside and it actually just shows on the outside so that's always a benefit of being positive <laughs> and you also start attracting those that are like-minded um you when you start thinking positive and being positive you attract those type of people and there's nothing better than being surrounded by people that have the same outlook on you and you know you always need that positive energy those positive vibes and you know having a great support system just contributes to that tip number three stop worrying about other people i'm let that sit there just for a second Stop worrying, worrying about other people. It's the most toxic thing that you can do from so many different perspectives. Worrying about other people and focusing on other people is just, it's bad for you. One, be who you are, be authentic to yourself, 
and if you're over here comparing yourself to other people it just doesn't contribute positively to who you are i think that was one of my biggest problems growing up and through high school through college is i felt like i always had to compare myself to other people what other people were wearing what other people were doing how other people were acting and i never felt like i was authentic to myself and I just always wanted to be like someone else and little did I know that you know I have a lot to offer to other people and there is no one else in this world who can be who you are there's no one else in this world that is you and which means that you have things that you're giving to this world that no one else can give you are a gem can't find you anywhere else so why not be just who you are and instead of comparing instead of you know idolizing other people just figure out who you want to be do you do you be you that's the life we want to live and while you're doing you and being you mind your business being in other people's business, worrying about what they're doing, where they're going. It just doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. Only thing you need to worry about is drinking your water and eating your fruits. That's it. Only business you have. While you're out here living your best life, tip number four is learn more about finances biggest tip learn more about finances biggest tip honestly i think i lack so much in this department unfortunately you know when you're in school they don't teach you anything about finances and you have to find a lot of those resources on your own but it is one of the most important things i think you could do like i said i struggled in this department really bad I think that no one really taught me the right places to put my money, um, really taught me how to spend my money, where I should be putting my money, and to this day, I'm 26, and every time I've had a new job or anything of that sort, and I've had to fill out a W-2, I always call my mama and I ask her how to fill out that W-2. I've had multiple retirement plans and I still don't fully understand them at all. I still ask my mom, what does this one mean? What does this one do? Do I have access to this? Where does that money go? Am I gaining more money by putting, that, putting money into that account? I feel like one thing that we lack as a generation is knowing about money and I think the world and society has taught us that we always need more and more and more and more and more and more, more, more and in reality the more you have the more expensive it is especially when you don't own it if you're out here leasing cars renting things renting apartments at the end of the day you don't own it it can be gone in the blink of an eye so don't let anybody tell you that you know being smart with your money is wrong because being smart with your money is the biggest flex owning your own house is your biggest flex owning your own car is your biggest flex not having a massive amount of debt is a big flex so just be smart about where you put your money and be educated find resources find programs you know there's so much out there that people like financial advisors that can help you learn how to invest um, I know a lot of people get into stock it's a really smart idea I don't know too much about it but I know that you know if you do your research your money can go a long way so be smart about your money and learn about your finances and last but not least tip number five say no say no just along with that money you can tell people no when you don't want to spend money you can tell people no at the end of the day 
If it doesn't align with the person you want to be and your goals, it is okay to say no. I don't know why I always had such a hard time telling people no. Even when my gut, even when deep down inside, I knew I wanted to say no. I always struggled with saying no. I think it was this concept I had of always trying to people please and always trying to be on people's good side but it is okay to say no when you don't want to do something you don't want to spend money you don't want to go somewhere it is completely okay to say no and at the end of the day nine times out of ten if you say no to a person they will get over it they will move on and if they don't then they was never for you in the first place to be quite honest so say no there are going to be a lot of things in life that occur and you can say no so that's all five tips if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up i'd love to see all you guys' comments and see what you thought about this video and thank you for watching